Um, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, thank you, organizers. And uh, this morning, uh, internet connection is, was getting faster, so everything was fine. Okay. Um, my talk is the, uh, on the experimental study uh, of bad metal um, and organic uh, materials. And uh, the title is here, but the, the, uh, in reality, uh, actually, I, I uh, have a slight change uh, of my talk uh, to the following. And first one, uh, the, the first part of my talk is uh, devoted to the, the bad metal behavior uh, near mode transition uh, and half filled band materials in organics. The two topics uh, are, is touched, are touched. One is the uh, quantum mode criticality. Um, the second one is the um, quantum disorder by quenching disorder. And the uh, last half, uh, I'd like to uh, talk about the, the bad metal behavior in a dope triangle lattice. And um, this material uh, can be a uh, uh, doped spin liquid, the doped spin li liquid candidate. And second finding is a uh, mode transition or some sharp crossover from non film liquid to film liquid, middle to middle transition or crossover. So one is the uh, possible uh, BCS to uh, BC to BCS crossover by pressure. Uh, okay, uh, mode transition is uh, nothing but the uh, musical chairs in case that the num number of the chairs uh, is exactly the same as the number of the particles. And if the double occupancy is allowed, uh, the particles uh, can move around. That is a mode transition. And uh, in solid state, uh, the electrons uh, uh, behave uh, as a right of wave, so quantum stuff. So the, the, at low temperatures, you have a, a variety of phases uh, in, uh, in the vicinity of the mode transition. And temperature, U over W, and this is the mode transition line. Um, mode transition uh, itself uh, is not as accompanied by uh, similar breaking. In that case, the transition should be of the first order of crossover. So uh, in, in reality, the, the first order transition line is aligning uh, 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 in the vertical axis. And then this uh, has a, a fine temperature critical point. And above that, the, the everything is uh, continuous, namely crossover. This is experimental um, cartoon. And uh, in the mode insulating uh, side, uh, the, the spin physics is going on. And, and in these regions, the charge physics is going on. Uh, and, and the metallic states is a spin charge coupled phenomenon, namely superconductivity occurs. So uh, in uh, such a kind of materials, uh, you can enjoy uh, everything or many things about solid state physics. Okay, in this talk, I'd like to show you. Uh, uh, um, okay, uh, time is limited, so I, I first I focus on these regions, uh, the crossover region of the mode transitions, and and second one is the um, this uh, uh, mode insulating region, the spin physics, and uh, okay, uh, third one is the superconductivity, but. The, as, as far as the superconductivity is concerned in this talk, uh, uh, the materials is a doped materials. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the uh, 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 magnetism, NMR spectra of two materials, two mode insulators. Uh, one is the triangular uh, mode insulator. The other one is the uh, anisotropic triangular uh, mode insulators. Um, the triangular is the formal twelve uh, scalaris. Um, in these materials, uh, no appreciable change uh, in NMR spectra down to 32 millikelvin. The J uh, is uh, 250 kelvin in this material, so the no spin ordering. So we think that the, this material hosts a uh, spin liquid. However, uh, this uh, deformable triangle lattice uh, shows a clear change. Um, and NMR spectra below uh, 25 kelvins is a very clear evidence of the generation of the internal field, namely magnetic ordering. So triangular lattice uh, uh, hosts uh, very, very uh, non-trivial magnetic states. So uh, let's apply a pressure 
uh, to these two materials. It's a, both materials are modeling slated, so uh, both uh, show uh, mode transition. Uh, but the phase diagram uh, has a different profile against uh, temperature and pressure. So um, this is the phase, um, mode phase diagram of, of the antiferromagnet. Uh, sorry, a spin liquid. So uh, this is the first order transition line, and the first order, uh, the, uh, the critical end, end point and, and crossover line. And for antiferromagnet, uh, the, again, first order transition line you see, you have, and then critical point. And this uh, curvature uh, is, uh, uh, tells you that the, uh, the, the entropy balance, uh, namely quasi-scalpel relations, the positive slope means that the, the entropy uh, in the left-hand side phase is very high. This means that the spin entropy is very alive, is vital. But in this case, uh, the, the spins are ordered low at low temperatures, and even at high temperatures is a short range order, so spin entropy is dying, dying uh, at lower temperatures. So this is negative slope, positive slope. So this, uh, the, the slope of the phase boundary tells you that the, the, the information um, on magnetism in more insulating state. Okay, uh, we are going to the, the high temperature region here. So uh, we pick up these materials first, and uh, okay, and they, we, we do the transport experiments. Okay, uh, this is the comparison uh, between the condo and moto, and the quantum phase transition is uh, intensely discussed in the heavy filament systems. Uh, where well, the two competing interactions is the condo and RKKY, and this competition gives a counter phase transition from the magnetic order states to heavy filament systems. And in a case, uh, the comp competing energy scale is a, a, a kinetic energy, namely bandwidth and the current interaction, U, V and W. The energy scale is uh, several thousand Kelvin, but uh, I showed uh, be before the, these uh, two materials uh, shows uh, 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 first order transition. So this mode transition, is, strictly speaking, is not quantum phase transition. However, uh, the critical end point is uh, 10 Kelvin or 20, 40 Kelvin. So there is a vast range of energy scales um, between the competing energy scale and then first order transition line, as uh, Brad uh, explained uh, yesterday. So why not quantum phase, quantum fluctuations uh, in this uh, wide region. So our, our, our experimental work was uh, totally motivated by uh, our broad uh, groups, uh, theoretical works on of the MFT. Um, this is the uh, uh, very well-known phase diagram uh, of the MFT of how the model, and U and temperature, and the first of the transitional line, and terminates at final temperatures. In this regions, uh, uh, Conductivity, uh, concreted conductivity, follow the quantum critical scaling, and uh, sorry. Then, the, if the uh, if you take the rhythm line as a uh, origin of the horizontal axis, uh, this uh, quantum critical region uh, show uh, symmetrical uh, uh, shape. Okay, what we did is the experimental version of the theoretical study. Um, so, what we did is the, the resistivity measurements as a function of pressure at several fixed temperatures. Um, this temperature is, uh, is not so high. In, in this case, uh, the, maybe uh, this is the, the 20 kelvins, so 30 kelvins, so very low temperatures. Um, in usual pressure measurements, uh, we usually use uh, the, the, the oil oil as a pressure medium, but the oil is solidified at low temperatures, so uh, only uh, uh, means to vary pressure at low, uh, at low temperature is to use uh, uh, helium gas as a pressure medium. So we used uh, the pressure, um, helium gas as a pressure medium. Okay, uh, this is the uh, resistance uh, curve as a function of pressure, yes? Then uh, inflection point is defined, and then the, all of the data is normalized here. And then the pressure is normalized. Uh, uh, with a, a prefactor, uh, this is T, temp T is a temperature, and Z nu is an exponent. So 
uh, if uh, we use uh, the 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 the, uh, the value of of 0.6 as 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 the new uh, the all of the uh, data whole data are scaled to one curve. So if you uh, uh, draw all uh, this uh, uh, data, uh, plot uh, this data as a function of temperature, reduced temperature. In that case, uh, the, um, these curves are, ha shows uh, two universal uh, curves bifurcating into the insulating and metallic states. And this is the perfect mirror symmetry, um, nearly perfectly reproducing the uh, 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 today's uh, talk. Um, okay. So uh, this is the reduced uh, resistivity. Uh, as, uh, the color uh, represented the, the, the value of the resist resistivity. Uh, this is the map uh, of the, this resist resistivity in the phase diagram like this. So this uh, red colored region is a quantum critical region. And this is a Widom line like this. And uh, if we uh, take the, this Widom line as the origin of the, the horizontal axis, this is the experimental plot. Uh, it's, uh, this quantum critical region is uh, nearly perfectly symmetric. Um, again, uh, well reproduces the, the corporations. OK, this is the uh, results uh, of the, the uh, spin liquid material. But uh, we uh, examined two other materials um, in the same, ma same manner. Um, this material uh, is a, the, uh, the three materials uh, have, have uh, uh, three different mode transitions. First one is this material is a uh, spin liquid to, to superconducting transition at low temperatures. This is the antiferromagnetic to superconducting transition. In this case, it's spin liquid to metal. No superconductivity in this DMIT material. So the ground state is different. Uh, however, the, at the high temperatures, maybe high energy physics is exactly uh, nearly the same. So all of the materials is, uh, show a very nice scaling. This missing data is the pressure. Ambient pressure is here. So it's uh, experimental limitations. OK. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, the, the, the experimentally obtained, uh, the critically exponent z nu is 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.07 or less, like this. Some are different. But uh, in the range of the, in this range, between the 0 0.5, 0 0.6, so um, this is the uh, some uh, 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 tabulation of the uh, some uh, typical values uh, extracted from experiments and theory. And uh, our data, uh, our experiments suggest that the ex exponents uh, is located on here, and the DMFT uh, here, and the continuous mode transition. Um, 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 finds that the, the, this uh, theoretical work and, and its continuous transition uh, suggests here. Uh, yesterday's uh, uh, centuries old talk here. So it's a very uh, uh, theoretical uh, uh, prediction experiments are in, in the and concentrated in this region. But I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm not certain about uh, whether uh, these differences are meaningful or not. But uh, I, I can say that the, the, this difference, uh, there is a possibility that this difference is meaningful, makes sense. Because it, this uh, mode transition does not, uh, is not followed by the similar, similar breaking. So in, in usual uh, quantum uh, phase transitions, is, it, there is an order parameter. Uh, for example, in heavy helium systems, uh, as a magnetic order. Uh, is a other parameter, and the other parameter is fluctuating quantum mechanically. But in, in this case, no other parameter. So this quantum critical behavior is uh, very, very uh, unconventional and, uh, um, and not trivial, I think. So uh, I think uh, much more should be done um, from experiments and the theoretical point of view. Okay. okay. Um, uh, this is the, the uh, uh, a kind of conclusion of the first, book, uh, first part of my talk. Um, um, this is the uh, triangularis system, and this is the uh, scalatis like system. And at low temperatures, the ground state is quite different uh, depending on the details of materials quantum spin liquid, superconductivity, anti high TC, uh, low TC, and 
And not that uh, these topics, but the Sur gap only appears uh, near the more transition of the antifield magnet. The, in this case, uh, no Sur gap. As at a low temperatures, the, the, the ground states are, are quite different, um, reflecting the details of materials. But at high temperatures, um, the behavior are similar. The, so high energy physics is universal, uh, essential, inessential, I think. So uh, the, uh, the quantum critical behavior uh, is a, a, a kind of universal be, uh, behavior, I think, uh, 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 maybe compassing solid state physics and sometimes to the elementary physics, I think. The, OK. So uh, next, talk, uh, uh, next part is uh, devoted to the, this material. The, uh, low temperatures uh, in, in the most insulating states, uh, the spins are classical, and different maybe. Yes? Yeah, so uh, other than the resistivity, are there other probes of this high energy, you know, what's happening, say, in MR or something? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, you are talk, uh, you're asking that the NMR data uh, and like the, the resistivity yeah. data? Yeah, no, there's really one probe. Right? So if it's really the same. In, in NMR? In NMR, or in all kinds of other. Not yet. Not yet. Such a kind of the systematic study uh, was done only uh, for conductivity data at present. It's a very time consuming uh, experiment. So, NMR is uh, difficult to, to take the data in detail in this uh, temperature pressure phase. But it's uh, very important, uh, I think. For example, the, but it, Summer conductivity or any, uh, 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 for example, summer conductivity is hopeless because the yeah. lattice contribution is less. So it's, uh, quantity is limited, I think. NMR or spin sensibility, yeah. under pressure, the, the measurements of spin sensibility under pressure is not so easy. So night shift, NMR, <coughs> night shift is maybe probe, may probe that, uh, that anyway, not yet. Yeah, so all of this, all of that. Maybe possible, maybe possible. Should be done, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, this is the uh, our classical magnet uh, and scalatis like material. Okay, uh, this is the uh, the NR spectra again. Um, the spectra uh, it's a high temperature, low temperature, uh, below twenty seven Kelvin, the spreading now of lines. Uh, that is an indication of the magnetic ordering. By uh, uh, irradiating uh, the X-rays, uh, in this case uh, for, for uh, 50 hours, in that case, uh, this magnetic ordering is completely gone. So uh, the NMR spectra uh, does not change at all. And this is the uh, spectra, uh, superposition of the data, um, of the data uh, of the spectra after X-ray irradiation, completely nearly, nearly the same. So magnetic order is gone. So spin liquid, uh, uh, maybe a, 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 a spin liquid emerges, I think. This is the NMR relaxation rate. Um, before X-ray irradiation, uh, the, the 1 over T1 1 over shows a sharp peak, uh, again, indicating magnetic ordering. However, after irradiation, no sharp anomaly, but some kink occurs. But it, Interesting point is the, this is the NMR relaxation curve. Um, it's uh, in the whole temperature range, the NMR relaxation is single. It, this means that it's a homogeneous. Uh, so we are uh, in, we were encountered uh, with the, the some bending of the NMR relaxation uh, curve and uh, original quantum spin liquid. But uh, this uh, is a Disordered materials shows a very homogeneous uh, relaxation. It's a very funny and very interesting point. Do you have any structural data? By after acceleration, no, no, but no, no, not yet, not yet. But by acceleration,s uh, what what occurs is a problem. Um, it's a, but what we know is the the these materials are layered materials, conducting layer, the insulating layer. The, Insulating layer is anion layers. The anion uh, uh, composed of the copper cyanide, and the cyanide uh, bonding is broken. Uh, by, uh, that was found by, uh, by IR spectra. So 
nothing more. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, no structural experiments. So why did you do, why does one do an experiment of irradiating for 500 hours? Oh, oh. No. Um, before that, the, the other, our, our colleagues, uh, the, the uh, Sasaki-san in Tokyo Universities uh, systematically uh, uh, did a uh, uh, systematic uh, uh, study of uh, uh, the relatively change against uh, uh, the irradiation time. So the five, uh, 500 hours is enough to, to uh, Influence um, to influence the relative data. So this is a very important point: is that by accelerated irradiations, uh, what is affected is not only the spins, um, but the, but the charge degrees of freedom. And this is the uh, before uh, uh, the, the temperature dependence of relativity before irradiations, as it get applied uh, molten stratus. But the, after irradiations, uh, the relativity is, uh, is becomes uh, become low, and then the the Increasing, relatively increases weaker. So this is the variable range uh, hopping plot. This is gap plot, not gap, not activated, but a variable range hopping is better to reproduce the data. So I think that the uh, by extra irradiation, uh, this material maybe uh, change from the more insulator to the more Anderson insulator. Um, so uh, the implication or, or indication of the present experiments uh, is the a, the. The magnetism and the mode Anderson insulator can be a uh, uh, spin liquid um, in spin channel, but a charge uh, uh, randomly, the uh, grassy uh, state. I think. Okay, um, I'm uh, moving on, on to the the, uh, the last, last topic, the doped case, doped triangularis. And most of the organic materials are yes. Yeah, yeah, this sort of, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, we don't think the doped, but the, in the multi insulating phase, is that if the, the material multi insulating is subject to the randomness, this sort of, the receptivity uh, is usually decreasing. It's, a, it's a not, not a, a unusual phenomenon. Okay. So, gap like behavior is gradually changes to the the gapless behaviors, because of motor Anderson insulators. It's a theoretical work, many, many theoretical works about that. Yeah. Okay, um, this is the excep exceptional material, um, doped triangularis. And most of the ET compounds has a stoichiometry stoichi and, and, and these are uh, the com uh, compositions. But these materials particularly uh, has a uh, non stoichiometry in, in this uh, anion layers. Um, this is not uh, the, the defects. Um, this mercury forms uh, its own periodicity uh, in commensurate with, uh, with the, the, this, uh, the host uh, ET materials. This is the chemistry between the ET and mercury. So, unfortunately, we cannot vary the content. The 2.8 is uh, strictly fixed. Yeah. Um, if uh, the content of mercury is three, in that case, uh, this is motor insulators. So the missing content, 0.11, contributes to the whole doping uh, by 11% uh, whole doping. And this material is very interesting. Uh, um, first one is the, this is a rough estimate of the U over T. It's uh, much, much higher than the uh, motor insulators, non-motor insulators. So, this should be in the strongly correlated uh, regime. And T prime over T, the triangularity of the triangularis is uh, nearly unity. So this is the strongly correlated uh, triangularis systems. But this is a whole doped. So uh, actually, this is metal, not insulator, even at, 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 at ambient pressure. So the interesting point is the charge is metal and how about spins? Spin, this is the, the spin sensibility as a function of temperature. Okay, this is the uh, black uh, symbol and the, uh, red symbols are uh, taken uh, for the, the different magnetic field orientations, but uh, nearly isotropic. And this temperature dependence is uh, very well fitted by uh, triangular lattice Heisenberg model, 
And J is uh, roughly uh, 140 Kelvin, yeah? 140 Kelvin. So screens uh, behave as if they are localized. So uh, naively, uh, the charge of metal, the spins are as a metal, so seemingly spin charge separation is realized uh, naively. OK, uh, let's compare the spin susceptibility, the non-doped uh, spin liquid materials. This is a motor insulator. This is doped uh, tangularized metal. But it spins, the temperature profile of its spin susceptibility quite resembles each other. But the only difference is that the magnitude of the J, and in this case, in non-doped cases, the J is 250 Kelvin, but in this case, doped case is 140 Kelvin. So this difference is very, very reasonable because the, in this material uh, is a, a higher strongly correlated system. Yes, thank you. Uh, because the, the E over T is large, so J should be s uh, smaller than this one. So everything uh, uh, looks like the spins are localized. Um, uh, in spite of the charge R, charge, mobile charges in this case. So spin charge separation is uh, yeah, likely. OK, um, we pressurize this material. Um, so uh, this is the, the diagram of U over W, and this is the band filling. This is half filling line, and half filling materials like this, the motor insulator region and the metal and a first load transition occurs here. This material is put here, 11% uh, hole doping. And maybe the U over W is larger than this, these other, other members of this family. And then we apply pressure. The system uh, goes along this line. Okay. And this is a hole coefficient. Um, please take a look at the low temperature data, 10 Kelvin. Uh, 10 Kelvin uh, hole coefficient is large at low pressures, and then sharply decreasing, and around 0.5 gigapascal, it's uh, leveling off. So this means that the, in these regions, uh, the high carrier density, uh, this means that maybe the, uh, the large from surface, um, which are familiar with in other uh, copper 80 materials, and this is the 10 Kelvin superconductor. It's a, if you, the data is shifted here, it's a behavior is similar. But the, Green phase, uh, it's a conjecture. It's a conjecture because, uh, okay, later I, I, I'd like to, I'd like to. Conjecture. conjecture, only conjecture. What is the phase? Um, mm, yeah, this is strongly correlated, doped motor regions, okay. small carrier regions. This is a large carrier regions. Uh, no, 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 high carrier regions, low carrier regions. So that's in your mind? It's uh, debatable. Well, I, I'm not sure, but the, yeah, yeah, counter phase transition or sharp crossover. Okay. I cannot distinguish. Okay, so this sharp transition is uh, uh, it uh, yeah signifies uh, possible counter phase transition from uh, local density system, so small film surface to large film surface, transition to the large film surface, or crossover. Here, so this is a conjecture and the uh, optimal doping of high TC. This is also conjecture. OK. So um, OK, TC. Um, TC has a function pressure, and TC forms a dome, uh, like high TC. And the maximum TC occurs around 0.5 uh, gigapascal. Uh, sorry. 0.5 gigapascal means that it, it, around this point, TC do forms a dome. OK, this is the temperature dependence of resistivity. At low pressures, the resistivity uh, temperature dependence is not from liquid like. It's uh, linear or, or concave or convex. And then linear and from liquid uh, gradually appears. And this is the, uh, OK. Uh, recently, my students uh, uh, um, succeeded in, in, in taking resistivity data at low pressure regions. It, this material is very difficult to take uh, reliable uh, resistivity data because the, the materials uh, 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 often cracks, shows cracks, but the, this is OK. So um, other mag magnetic field superconductivity is destroyed, and non-filmic 
the linear temperature dependence persists down to 0.8 Kelvin. So I think that this, in this region, in this region, it's a low non formicular behavior continues down to 0.8 Kelvin at least. Okay. And this is the, um, the, the colored control plot uh, of the, the exponent of resistivity. Um, it's a film liquid and non film liquid like this here. So uh, we think that uh, this kind of the, the strongly correlated dope mode insulating region to, to, uh, to, to film liquid uh, 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 cross over occurs around here. So uh, uh, this is a conjecture, uh, such a kind of anomaly occurs, occurs and then this may, be, uh, may continue to the, the, the optimum, region, optimum doping region in high density cuprates. And high TC uh, in the dome uh, forms here. In a case, uh, the, the controlling parameter is a pressure, namely U. And the high, high TC cuprate controlling parameter is a uh, carrier density. But the, the carrier density, change of the carrier density uh, changes the screening. So the strings are onset the cooling interaction. So in this sense, uh, the, these two parameters have uh, common aspects uh, to control. OK. And uh, C-axis conductivity. C-axis conductivity probes the quasi particle excitation through tunneling. And this is the uh, typical data of the, uh, uh, of the Bismuth 2212 and, and doped by BCO. Uh, C-axis conductivity is non-metallic. Uh, this means that the um, um, finite energy is required for the quasi particle excitation. So people say that the quasi uh, uh, seal gap. Yeah? How about uh, in, a, in a case? In a case, uh, it's a uh, in plain, uh, resistivity is always metallic. But out of plane, C axis conductivity is, uh, has, uh, is insulating in at high temperature region uh, below PC. Uh, but above PC, it's uh, metallic uh, behavior appears in the whole pressure region. And this is the uh, in plane behaviors, uh, cartoon plot of the alpha, film naked, non film naked. And this is the color plot of the the, the temperature coefficient of the uh, logarithmic uh, resistivity. And the blue region is a very good metal, and red region is uh, insulating. So it means it, in, in these regions, above uh, 0.5 GPA, uh, in, in the high pressure regions, in that case, the good coherence uh, uh, in evolves in line with the, the evolution of the film liquid uh, property. It's uh, very reasonable. But interesting point, in this region, there's non film liquid. As I showed, that down to a 0.5 Kelvin at least, it's a non film liquid. But um, interlayer coherence is recoupled at low temperatures. So interlayer coherent uh, non film liquid behaviors is a very interesting aspect, I think. Um, the, what occurs in this uh, interlayer coherent regions? One is the, the spin susceptibilities. Spin susceptibilities uh, shows a clear decrease uh, below 20 Kelvin or 10 Kelvin. And so if the spin is um, getting a, some coherent uh, nature at low temperature, in that case, the uh, C-axis coherence uh, may be established. This is the uh, experimental statement. But I don't know uh, the physics behind uh, the, uh, this phenomenon. Yeah? The Joffrey or Mont Joffrey Lake along the C axis, where would it be in, in, in the. Sorry, sorry. The, the, the minimal metallic Ah, yeah, minimum. Yes, yes. Here, this one. But this is in plane. But it's. Yeah. Out of plane. I mean, out of plane is much, much lower. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe it's uh, out in outer plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of plane is a much, much lower. Yeah, yeah. 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 OK, finally, oh, OK, chairman is standing up. Uh, OK. Um, um, upper critical field. Uh, we measure the upper critical field at several pressures, like this. And this is the uh, resistivity curve as a function of pressure at the magnetic field uh, at, at a particular uh, pressure, 0.5 gigapascal, and superconductivity are destroyed. 
But in, in this case, the magnetic field is perpendicular to the rays, so vortex swing state appears here. So no sharp transition. It's a familiar. It's a usual behavior. So we plotted the, the resistivity values uh, relative to the normal state values by color. So blue means that the vanishing resistivity. Red means uh, the normal state. So in these regions, like this, the vanishing resistivity, normal. So there is a very la large range um, and, and vortex rigid states. But it, it shrinks. And in this overpressure over over region, it's very sharp. OK, this is the um, systematics. OK, um, if you take the upper critical field um, by 90% uh, recovery of the resistivity, the upper critical field is like this. And the high pressure region like this. Here, 0.05 gigapascal here. And the low pressures, very steep, steep slope. This means the coherence strength is very, very short, short in these uh, low pressure regions. OK, this is the coherence things. And uh, this is the average uh, the carrier spacing. Um, we assume that in the low pressure region, the carrier is a doped car car carrier is uh, only doped holes. Okay. So if so, the, um, in these regions, coherence things and in average carrier uh, uh, spacing uh, is a comparable. So we think that this BC-like uh, superconductivity appears here. And in, in these regions, uh, much, much, uh, the coherence is much, much larger between, uh, than the spacing. So BC-like and BCS-like crossover occurs, we guess. And it's uh, very uh, um, consistent with the profile uh, of the resistivity against temperature and pressure. In these regions, there is a very l large temperature pressure regions uh, where the resistivity is, uh, takes uh, intermediate values. Okay? This means that the, the superconducting phase are unlocked. So uh, classical fluctuations, quantum fluctuations, is enhanced in these regions because the carrier number is small. So the uncertainty uh, and, and the carrier number is uh, small. So uh, both fluctuations enhance. OK, uh, sorry, this is the, uh, uh, my, the conclusion of my talk. And we talked about, I talked about the non-doped uh, systems and, and doped triangular uh, systems. So both materials uh, uh, show uh, bad metal behaviors uh, in the near the mode transitions. In this case, uh, near the uh, uh, 0 0.5 gigapascal, the, maybe the, this, is correspond, this corresponds to the uh, the, the pressure where the double occupancy uh, uh, shows anomalous change. Okay. So we have a several um, um, indication um, like this. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>